Hey everybody and welcome to game three of the Star Master vs. Cyber Odin series. I'll swap these names in a second. Star Master will be on the bottom, Cyber Odin will be on the top. And I mentioned in the last game that it's kind of been a, a tale of crits in this series, but if I wanted to be a little more honest and a little more, um, you know, if I wanted to give credit where it's due, it's really been a tale of Gengars this series. You had both players with their Gengars putting in huge amounts of work. Uh, with Star Masters Gengar cleaning up the last three Pokemon on Cyber Odin's team in the first game, as well as, you know, doing incredible damage to Cyber Odin's Blissey last game with its taunt Will O Wisp combo. However, Cyber Odin's Gengar able to finish things out in the second game. And now we're going to go into the third game and see if they have any more awesome Gengar shenanigans up their sleeves. So, with that in mind, let's get into it. Can you Switch the sides here. Once again, Star Master on the bottom. Cyber Odin, I love you, Jesus, on the top right. For lead play, we're going to have, for the third time in a row, double T-Tar leads. It's like they planned this. And another Milotic coming in from Cyber Odin. This is kind of familiar if you go back to game one. However, this Milotic not getting crit this time. Tyranitar clicking the same Earthquake as last time. Skarmory coming in again. So, really looking familiar this series and you know i i'm wondering if star master's next play is going to be to go to a uh, blissey however star master skarmory going to get up a layer probably going to get up a second maybe a third depending on what cyber odin does he's going to reveal his own skarmory and he's going to try and get a couple layers of his own up but first does star master have any sort of counterplay to that no he's going to go for his third layer as cyber odin gets up his first And where does Star Master go now? Is he going to click Roar? Yeah, he clicks Roar to hopefully reveal a third Pokemon. No, he's just going to reveal the Milotic again. You know, going to take damage from that Spikes, which is not irrelevant. But, just click and Surf. Not interested in going back to Skarmory to get up that third layer at the moment. And Star Master Skarmory is going to keep phasing things around. Is going to force in that T-Tar, do pretty important damage with those Spikes. And we don't see a Leftovers on the Tyranitar. So, clicking Rock Slide, I would have to think that that's probably banded, but, uh, you know, it's certainly not for sure. Tyranitar going to swap back out to Skarmory. We're going to see Swampert revealed from Star Master. So, for Star Master's part, it's kind of looking like he's bringing a third TSS team. Whereas, okay, we do have Sapdos coming in. As Skarmory is going to get his third layer up. So, both players have all three of their layers up. If they have spinners, you know... They'll probably look for their opportunity to get them off here. I would not be surprised if Star Master had brought a, you know, just once again a Gengar Blissey. You know, maybe bringing the, the same team twice in a row. Star Master actually over-predicting there. He's going to throw out an HP Grass into the Skarmory. While the Skarmory gets off a Toxic, which is a pretty huge play for Odin. That Toxic going to be building up over the course of the game. Do you have Gengar coming in? So it looks like it's probably just the same team that he brought last game. Gengar's going to likely threaten this Skarmory out after it uses its Protect, just to scout for what it goes for. Yeah, exact same team, which is good. Nothing wrong with that. However, it's likely that Cyberone is going to be forced to reveal something new here, as he just instead decides to force out the Gengar with Roar, going to bring back in the Tyranitar, do some relevant spikes damage. As Tyranitar prepares a Focus Punch, and, ooh, this isn't going to be pretty. So Tyranitar throws out the Focus Punch into the Milotic, which took the relevant Spikes damage from earlier, as well as the new Spikes damage, got brought it down to 50%, 45% um, taken from the Punch. Sand is going to knock it out, and Cyber Odin reveals a Claydol, which is going to be a spinner, not able to find anything due to the Gengar switch from Star Master. However, does he have, is he going to throw out a Psychic or anything like that to try and pressure this Gengar out? Gengar clicking Ice Punch. Claydol does have Psychic, and he does hit a crit, which is going to be pretty huge damage. You know, down to just 10%. Any attack now will finish off that Gengar. Whereas, Claydol does have the opportunity to take another Ice Punch, but Gengar actually uses Destiny Bond, which is going to take down the Claydol, and more importantly, it's going to keep Spikes up on Cyber Odin's side for the rest of the game. Whereas, you know, assuming it's a Blissey back there, it's not as if Star Master really has a way to deal with it either, but I've been wrong before about teams. 
We do see a Jirachi revealed for Cyber Odin, which is immediately going to get a burn on the Skarmory. So now both Skarmories are burned, not that they really need the, the attack power anyway. And Starmaster is just going to keep phasing out Cyber Odin's Mons. You know, Protect no longer useful. Considering that he's burned, he's just going to keep taking damage. And he, his goal at this point, I suppose, is just keep phasing stuff out, try and figure out what that last Mon is. Jirachi throwing out a Protect, so we can get a pretty good idea of what this set is now. And things look pretty favored for Star Master at the moment, but it really comes down to whatever the, the last is for Cyber Odin, which I don't really have the game knowledge to try and guess what it is based off of this. You know, I was, he needs some sort of attacker, maybe something with, a, with an ability to, to boost its speed, or at least control speed. Which, for what it's worth, Jirachi can do that too. I'm not going to try and reason it out right now. Zapdos coming in and eating a Toxic from Skarmory. But you're going to see the Toxic damage it already has really starting to wear on it. Skarmory just trying to stall out. Well, that was the first Thunderbolt that it clicked, but it's really trying to just get information if it can. Maybe Zapdos wants to click Roar itself. You can't be 100% sure what it has. We've seen more Zapdos from Star Master already. Cyber Odin is going to sack off the Skarmory and probably going to bring the T-Tar back in. No, he is bringing in the Jirachi. So he may be trying to pass a wish here. Zapdos is going to click Thunder Wave. That's pretty important for the Jirachi because you can't be 100% sure the Jirachi can be as reliable as it would normally be if it were in a healthier state. But the Toxic Damage really starting to rack up. Zapdos definitely going to die next turn. As it clicks Roar, is it going to reveal the last? No, it's just going to do another 25 to the Tyranitar. And we are going to see, actually, the Wish getting passed to it, which is pretty huge. What damage was the Swampert at? Swampert's still at 90%, but Choice Band T-Tar, uh, still pretty big threat depending on what else it has. It is going to have Hidden Power Grass doing a big chunk, chunk to that Swampert. And Swampert's not going to take it out either. So Spikes are going to get rid of it. Uh, excuse me, Spikes are going to get rid of the T-Tar, as well as the Swampert, really, if either of them swap out. So they're kind of locked in here. you got a real slugfest as far as it goes. And last from Star Master is going to be an Aerodactyl, actually. It's not going to be a Blissey. So he did a really good job of hiding that until now, especially after bringing a TSS team two games in a row. You know, he had me fooled, but what do I know? Draji's going to come in, going to be paralyzed. Not going to take much from the Rock Slide, which is going to force Star Master to bring the T-Tar back out. Probably click Earthquake. However, Jirachi does have Wish. If it can get a Protect off here, then it could maybe make something happen. It all comes down to what this last is. And it's probably not something flying, considering he has both Claydol and Skarmory. But, oh, excuse me, it is Gengar. So we do have Gengar in all three of these games. And Tyranitar's Rock Slide going to do a pretty good chunk. Going to be taken down by the Sand is Cyber Odin's Gengar. And it's a pretty tall ask for this Celebi to try and make it through the rest of the game on its own. One Earthquake going to take it down to 12% as it goes for a Fire Punch. It would have needed that burn, you know, two turns ago. Not able to find it. And that is going to be the end of this game. Star Master is going to take the series 2-1 as he switches in Swampert. Let's it die, sacks it so the Aerodactyl can come in and pretty safely click its Earthquake. You know, the the sequence there being that things could have gotten a little tricky if Cyber Odin had uh, gotten off a couple of a couple of uh, protects there. You know, let Jirachi get some of its health back. So you know, safe, smart play, and uh, yeah, well played from both of these players. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. Star Master will be moving on. Cyber Odin going down to the, to the loser's bracket. And y'all have a good night.